Laiba, or uh, yes, Laiba says, me and my husband are constantly arguing. We say things to hurt one another. He always swears at me and calls me names. And then we won't talk for a few days. What should we do? Laiba, this is a very big problem. I do a lot of marriage counseling. And we do this online. And a lot of the problems between the spouses are due to lack of communication, being unable to communicate. So each one speaks his mind, failing to convey the message. And the vast majority of problems are caused by the lack of respect. This is a formula. When you have lack of communication and disrespect between the spouses, it is not long before they divorce. This is inevitable. Why does a man marry? He marries because he believes that he wants his second half to comfort him, to bring compassion and tranquility to his house. Why does a woman get married? Because she needs her rock. She needs someone that she feels safe and secure. If this is not available, then this is a formula for destruction and divorce. So what to do? First of all, you have to respect one another. Second of all, avoid pointing fingers. You did this, you did that, you said this, you did that. It's, it's, it's not going anywhere. We're not going to reach any solution when you accuse me and I accuse you. Thirdly, never do this in front of the children. Fourthly, always give a small percentage that you may be in error, in wrong, that you may be the, the arbitrator, not the arbitrator, the perpetrator. You might be the one who is doing the mistake, but usually you don't consider this as, as an option. Imam al-Shafi'i says, my opinion is the right opinion with the possibility that it is wrong. And my opponent's opinion is the wrong opinion with the possibility that it might be right. There is always a room for correction and rectifying things. If you manage to do this and sit on a table with such an attitude, you will not ever have problems, inshallah. But if you hold your ground and say, nope, I'm right, he's wrong. End of story. Either my way or the highway. Divorce is ine inevitable. So I suggest that you sit together when you are both in a good mood. Bring a paper and a pen and write the pros and cons of each other and set the ground rules. Don't accuse me. Don't argue with me. Don't point fingers at me. And let's see where we have gone wrong and try to fix it as much as possible. We have